Jesus heals blind party males. You're all familiar? Most of us are familiar with this story. Then they reached Jericho, and as Jesus' disciples left town, it's not a part of the translation. When Jesus and his disciples had passed through Jericho, a large crowd joined them. Upon leaving the village, they met a blind beggar sitting on the side of the road named Kimai, the son of Kimai. In other version, uh, Bartimaeus, son of Amaius. When he heard that Jesus from Nazareth was passing by, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me now in my affliction. Heal me. When I started to hear Bartimaeus, those in the crowd were indignant and scolded him for making so much of a disturbance. But he kept shouting with all his might, Son of David, have mercy on me now and heal me. 
Yo quiero algo porque no sería mi suena. Jesus stopped and said, Call him to come to me. So he went to the blind man and said, Oh, God, he stood up. Jesus is calling for you. So he drew off his beggar's cloak, jumped up, and made his way to Jesus. And Jesus said, to him, What do you want me to do for you? The man replied, My master, please let me see again. And Jesus responded, Your faith heals you. Go in peace with your sight restored. All at once, the man's eyes opened, and he could see again. And he began, to, he began at once to follow Jesus walking down on the road with him. Let's pray. Father, whatever God that you want us to get to receive that tonight, we ask, Lord, Holy Spirit, give us the grace. Open our eyes that we may see. Open our ears that we may hear of them what your Spirit is saying to us. Have your way tonight, Lord. Have your way tonight. That's your word, God, like the word that you stored for God. Father, thank you, Lord, that your grace abounds in us in the night. Even as we receive your word, Lord. Thank you, God, and your word, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe one of the second subjects at the of the church, especially the Buddhist church, okay, and the deception. And if even there is a John 12 35, then Jesus said unto them, Ye get a little while in the light in you, is the light with you, walk while you have the light. Let darkness come upon you, for he that walk in darkness, not that whither he go. For you to the good Lord yourself, darkness here means spiritual blindness, confusion, loss of clarity, and belief, and you. Now, if you notice, the Lord did not see, uh, the Lord did not spoke into the unbelievers. He spoke it to the, the believers. The only warning is that while you have the light, walk while you have the light, lest darkness come. I believe this is a warning because we are one of the, I believe one of the most attacked uh so no? denomination but Church today is the prophetic church. Why? So many years of the prophetic church. It's seeing in the spirit. And that's why Karol even says America no last last election is wrong. We could you know? We could be in church. Insa nakagita, insa gita nakarisay mo sa to, insa sa yo. And pakita niyo dito yung magbasa ko sa mga comments, no? Ang uh, um, prophetic church kaka ginamang. I don't know, ibigabasa ko sa Facebook ito during sa election about the token drop. And you can see there, yung imo pag ipakita dito, no? Okay, mostly churches ang uh, katinubaga. In 2 Corinthians 4.4, you know the name of the enemy, or the God of this age, has blinded the mind of the unbelievers. But you know what, what concerns me? Is the enemy is not just blinding the unbelievers. He is also blinding the believers. One girl. Is it possible for the believers who love Jesus to be spiritually blind? The enemy has blinded the unbelievers. But we can see right now that even in the church, the enemy is working to cause blindness in the church. Later we will know that even in the church is causing blindness. 
I believe one of the greatest issue or so much, uh, threat of the church in the last days is people like this. Now, what is spiritual blindness? Let's define it according to the scripture. In Isaiah 42, verse 20, I hate to the Listen, you who are deaf, look and see you blind. Who is as blind as my own people, my servant? Who is as deaf as my messenger? Who is as blind as my chosen people, the servant of the Lord? You see and recognize what is right, but refuse to act. You hear with your ears, but you don't really listen. And he's talking about his people. He's talking about his messengers. He's talking about the nation whom he chose. You see and recognize, but it used to act. No, he's someone. The believers, the unbelievers. That's his in the time of Isaiah, but is that happening today in our generation? We come here every Friday. You have your devotional. I hope you're doing our devotional. You see? It could be that we're here, we are seeing the move of God, the presence of God, but we refuse to act on it. And the Lord calls them you blind. You hear with your ears? Hello? Every Friday we be here, Sunday we hear the word of God. And you hear with your ears, but you don't really listen. And God calls them, you deaf. See, it's not a guarantee that you are a Christian and you are in a church, but you're not blind. The Bible, blindness was foretold. The Bible reveals that when God's people do not obey Him, it simply means no. This obedience is actually spiritual blindness. And you know what? If you have looks at spiritual blindness, you don't instantly get blind. You look at this, later on, go to that. He allows a spirit of blindness to come over them. So the Lord Himself allowed. The spirit of blindness to come over them because for one for this for this reason you did not you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments. See God closes his eye God allows blindness or he he causes blindness to his people when his people don't obey his words. The Lord has given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear. Moses were told that Israel's tendency to rebel against God and the subsequent spiritual blindness this would bring would lead to serious consequences in the latter days. Satan also plays a part in promoting this blindness among those who do not believe scripture. And for 40 years now, for years, but enough that uh, the Israelites in the wilderness are walking, not knowing that they were spiritually blind for 40 years. They heard, they saw, but what happened to the Israelites? They saw, they saw the miracle of God, they saw Moses. Parted the sea. They saw manna coming from heaven. And yet, they always keep on complaining. 
They heard the thunder in the Mount Sinai. They heard the voice of the Lord in the wind. And yet, they didn't to Isaiah. They, they hear, but they don't really listen. There's a difference between hearing and listening. I'm hearing the Lord. I'm listening to me now. Like everyone who get it too. Because listening is actually an intentional. Intentional in our relationship with God. Every time we go to our prayer closet and spend time with the Lord, it is intentional. When we want to listen to the Lord, it is intentional. You live certain. It takes a decision to listen to the Lord. Guys, Ito na ito na, daagi ko na ito po tayo na spiritual blindness sa church. Yan, letters mo sa Laodicea. You say, I am rich, I have everything I want, I don't need a thing, and you don't realize that you are rich, rich, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Church niya, yan the address, not the unbelievers. Go to the, I advise you to buy gold from me. Go to the sun has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich also by white garments from me. So you will not be ashamed by your nakedness and ointment for your eyes. So you will be able to see. I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. So nakita sa dino sa church of the that there is a spiritual blindness. There are a lot of things that will cause a person or a church to be spiritually blind. In this scripture, the familiar one, I think the familiar one, one of the biggest causes of spiritual blindness in our days is the end of days of affluenza. This is equal to spiritual blindness. What's up with that affluenza? What do you know about that? Affluenza? Affluenza is a social condition that arises from the desire to be more wealthy or successful. It can also be defined as the inability for an individual to understand the consequences of their actions because of their social status and our financial privilege. Somebody, uh, so now, yeah, he interprets a line of work. There it is. If you look at the world today, there's so much materialism. Agree? Even as a lot of people are chasing for success, you will and in this scripture, the Lord is gonna addressing this to the church of Galicia. You think you're rich? It's your blind. Materialism blinds us to our true spiritual condition. Agree with me. How many of you, na namoy kayo ilang na nagato lang, wala na pinakita sa imo? Di na ito lang marunita sa nahay. Nahay ko na nag-re. And these shirts, they were, they were thinking that they were rich. Yes, they were rich. They have wealth. But that is not how God defines wealth and riches. And so the Lord told that you are poor. You are blind. You are chasing for things more than we seem to be. And I think it's in Timothy, 2 Timothy or 1 Timothy. 
in the last days there will be those lovers of pleasure. Instead of being lovers of God. What are you chasing more in your life? What is your greatest dream in your life? circumstances. And I'm sure uh, some of you knew that person. But there was a time when I was in the church, and 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 I was in and I think some of you already know. Yeah, he was able to say in Texas, he didn't But, uh, But, na na all okay, you know, and, um, maske, ako, na ako, bro, man, sa church, siya, wala, hindi ako magkakita. And then, one day, I asked him, Maki siya. And I go, what's sa iyo, pinaka, Greatest, ay, una rin ko yung kota na, so, kung sa'yo yung pinaka the greatest na dream or ambition. And I answered him with confidence said, to fulfill my calling. So, but, tabi kaya bang duwag ito ay to fulfill my calling. And then I asked him back, so how about you? What is your greatest ambition? So, but, kasi ito ba, naulaw kayo ito? To be at my peak of my relationship with the Lord. And I was like, Kaya nga dyan ko, Naulaw ko eh. Kung man nasa church for me, Kaya mo na akong ambitious to fulfill my calling. Siya is to be at the peak of his relationship with the Lord. Thinking, and yun ako na nakita, nakakakita, This person, I really in, uh, I have a godly jealousy, so yeah. Because even though I don't see him often, there is a church. Every time I'm at the story, I'm at the top of the story, I'm at the top of the story. Every time I'm at the top of the story, I'm at the top of the story. I'm at the top of the story. I'm at the top <laughs> but he would just say, just stay for me. I'm going to go to the house. 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 But every time I pray for him, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go Anyway, now materialism lies as to our true spiritual condition. That's why it's it's uh it's dangerous when you have more. And what? The more you have, the more worries you will have. And worries. Most of the time, or all the time, that blind us. Ano man, sa sige na rin mo worry, wala na rin mo nakita, o wala na rin mo nadungo, kung sa gila yung ginaingon sa Lord sa'yo mga, kaya ano man, mas nabalaka naman ka. Hello? Now, other causes of spiritual blindness is etc. I think connection na niya sa materialism. Kaya kita ako one thing, ang dilik ka ano ba? Di ka makontento. Di ba man ako sasagay ito? Ay, ako sasagay ito. Ha? Sabi sa'yo ako kahapon. Kaya ang dilik ka makontento kung kung sa'yo nasa'yo mo ba? You want more? Somebody said before, he said, 
The only greed that we are allowed to have is the greed for God's presence. I want more, I want more, I want more. Unbelief. Unbelief causes us to be spiritual in life. You know, many times, especially in the, the past, I think on the last time was in the pandemic, but the Lord has been dealing me with unbelief. Not knowing that this unbelief is already blinding me. You know? And it's because of our unbelief we are not seeing what God is doing. Disobedience. For the person that we are saying, for the Lord. I think in John, first John 2 11, if anyone hates his brother or his sister, that person is walking in darkness. Hatred blinds us. Why? Because in hatred, all you can see is the weakness. Of that person. And that is already a sign. Kung makita ni mo permente na sa tao kay iyahara sa yon, iyahang witness, that is already a sign that you have been sana, blinded spiritually. That's why God is so strict ana, to deal with offense right away. Don't let your anger na mawabot pa na musawak na nadlaw. In other words, ayan ang kagagaya. Because that anger will lead you into hatred. And you know what? I've experienced that before because of my hatred sa papa. Ngayon ako naman dito, di sa iyo permitte? Saan? Sayo, di na ako kaka-appreciate ang iyan. Mayo, nga di na buhat sa amo because of that hatred. And that hatred is blinding me that all I can see. This is weaknesses and his failures and his mistakes. And it took me years. It's so sad. It took me years. Ang buta. Not until the Lord is it with me. And it is also not in one word. Right? You see, Satan's fall or sin was pride. And when he came to the world, that is what he is all the way. To blind us, to be able to be able to pride sa ito ha. Kaya naman, ang pride, gusto ko tayo kakita sa pride. We think we know what's right. With excessive pride comes blindness. You know, the Bible says that because of lack of knowledge, this people but you know what? Sometimes no, no. too much knowledge. But says it, but too much knowledge can also blind us. You know what? Nagana kay kagreba man. There's a tendency na tayo nga sa man. Bili na po ka kami na. Sa mga sa po eh, ikon sa mga tao. That matter. And then, spiritual blindness is gravity kasano na. Magluka mas dali di recognize. It's so easy to recognize a physical blindness, right? But spiritual blindness is so hard to recognize. Ano siya kung dalhin? 
Spiritual blindness is far worse than physical blindness. You know, David Wilkerson, when spiritual blindness comes, very few recognize it. It's the last recognized thing happened to a child of God. So, may lakon kayo na makarecognize na na. When you're mostly, it's the last thing ay mong marecognize sa mga sabi. Look, buta na rin. Kung kita ka, huwag mong mata, pero you're blind na yun. You are seeing it, you are blind. But blessed are those who do not see, but believe. While physical blindness is an unavoidable condition with many people in the world, spiritual blindness is quite another thing. Spiritual blindness results in rituals to harden our hearts against God and purposely reject the truth of His word. Don't let it happen to you. So every time that we, we harden our hearts and we reject the truth of God's word, we are candidates for spiritual blindness. Hello? And not just when we hear the word of God. Tayong malito sa Isaiah, you, you, you are hearing but you're not listening. Every Friday, every Sunday, we are being challenged to see through the Spirit. We are given every Friday and Sunday the privilege to see the Spirit. But mostly in the church today, how many in the church are seeing in the Spirit? How many in the church have vision? I'm not just talking about spiritual vision I'm also talking about destiny, direction, vision. See, how many is running away from what God is telling you to do? Turning or turning our bent blind eye to what God is expecting us to do. And Jesus promised, but he also wants. Jesus told him, I enter this world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they see that they are blind. Same way with physical tightness, open ang mata, nagwalay ka kita. How do we overcome spiritual tightness and regain our sight? Now, there was one day, worshipping the day, uh, Sunday to sa Sunday. Kami itong worship ko niya. Kalit lang ba? Kalit lang dahil, Nine precious words are gone. He impressed me some son. Sabi ang hila kay. When I was seeing it, and he had impression, sabi ang hila kay, kung kabalo lang po, ako nito sa son. That time. At that time, what I received is, in some son, itagda lang yung mata sa iyo. And the Lord told me, I'm sitting in the church. I was a ministry. I was doing the ministry outside. And yet, I received the word from the Lord. You have lost your vision. And my prayer that time was this. We had some sort prayed to the Lord, Lord once more. Because that time I would not have realize not until the Lord revealed it to me. And you know what? Spiritual blindness is not instant. It starts with little compromise. Samson, 
He answered, he did not take heed of God's instruction in his life. Do not drink wine. Don't go near the dead. Don't cut your hair. Here they don't serve wine. No, no, no. Okay, okay. It's the one you have to go. You have to go. Then you have to go. Or what to do Friday? You have to go. You have to go. You have to go. Ito ang sa to. Buhon sa layan ito no. Or beer ito. Hawin siya upuan. Buko sa patay. Niya after ang tulog ay kutin ang bigam. Pag naa mga Pilistins, yagya po ipamatay ang mga Pilistins. Pero buray na ito sa iyo nga ba? Not until the third time. Una una niya, katayin ko ni Pastor Jun niya. Ako nga po ipagutol akong buhok ng so he allowed it, the Botolian walk, and he made us delay. But what I'm here, according to the Bible, Samson did not know that the Spirit left him. And you know what happened to Samson? He was captured. And the Palestinians took his eyes. And he could not be able to see anymore. He was. And he put his white press. And he put his white press. And during that time, I was in, in a struggle of like, I was thinking, but I, I was like just running in circle. I can feel you were like running in circle, and I'm going to receive because you have lost your vision. And how did I lose it? Small compromises. Oh, okay, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to God did not reveal it to me. Because that time I was in my Konya Punto. I don't know if I'm going to run in a circle. I'm going to cry in my heart. 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 How about you? Is there anyone in here who is running in a circle? You need to ask the Lord, Lord, why am I running in circle? Is there little compromises? You see, these little compromises will lead you into a bigger ones. His life begins to circle. Imagine living a life with no eyes. But mostly in the spirit, I realize living a life with no spiritual vision. Because mostly your main aim is to continue to church, to come in with the word, to experience the presence of the Lord. That's it. But there's more. How do we overcome spiritual blindness and regain our sight? Examine yourself. Examine myself. Examine yourselves to see. That you know. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourself. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless, of course, you fail to test? You see, we are in the season, or we are living in a generation that there is so much deception around us. And there's so much temptation that will cause us blindness. Kasi kasa ka maling eh. Social media. Tapi na ganun o ha. Ang klasik eh, online. 
Sige kayo tapos ng mga bata ng mag-aaral ng hindi sa Saan ko ba isa sa nagabay sa ato kay Facebook? Hindi ko na Facebook Nakaremember ko ito Wala na pwede ka receive ba? Hindi ko lang siya Sige kay Facebook Saan yung pag-receive revelation? Sige ka, scan. 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 Scan na din yung mga bago. Saan yung mga bago? Science of being spiritually blind. Number one, those who are spiritually blind lack spiritual affair. Wala na bitaw, kaguto. Kuwanda, kanang familiarity. Normal na sa'yo mo nga money church. Expected na ka ng money church. Normal na sa'yo mo to do your devotional. Expected ka mag-devotional. Pero wala na yung guys. Becomes obligation. Number two, maka na na sign? Ayun na, pataas ka mata. Those who are spiritually blind lack spiritual hunger. Number two, those who are spiritually blind lack accurate self-examination. There was a time when the Lord rebuked me. Tiniyapon po ko sa time now, hindi na ako ginacheck ang ako ang heart pa. Kau pun berapa nak? Aku lah. I was so confident nak bertau sama self. Yang orang pada ikut exam itu, di bawah aku ni. Am I still hungry? Am I still passionate? Am I still loving the Lord the way I loved Him before? Number three, those who are spiritually blind lack of conviction. Meaning, hindi na rin mo kakakita sa mga self niya. Meaning, yung mga pagtanong sa mga self niya, wala na kayo sa lahat. Or, hindi na kakakakonvict. Sa wala, hindi na kakakonvict. Sa istorya sa mga self computer, hindi na kakakakonvict. Pag lumon ka, marag wala na kaya yung conviction sa'yo mo. Wala na yung mga ko at it becomes a normal na kaysa mo. Sign number 4, dito hindi siya yung tunulong si Kala. Those who are spiritually blind don't recognize the effect of their sin or their blindness has on others. Hindi na niyo mong pagka-recognize na niyo mong pagka-blind sa'yo mong self is already affecting and hurting others. That because of your pride, you are already hurting and affecting others. That because of your unbelief, you are already affecting the ministry where God has placed you. And I can remember this all of that. And I hope I can be blamed for the workers. I will look at you. I can remember this all of that. I can be blamed for the workers. I think it's the MPs ministry before, I think it was five, six years ago. Hindi na akong kita ba, na yung growth, na yung food. Hindi na akong i-blame kaya ng others. Until the Lord exposed my heart to him, sa father heart sa dalawa, exposed. Here it is lang na yun, na something kung ako dahil. But I was blind. You see, a person who is blind will keep on blaming others of their own things that happen in their lives. And I didn't know I would be hurting others. So I called for the blind. 
Lord, I thank the Lord for revealing to me my other and their physicality. I thought I was right. But just thought that I thought that I was right. But I was not really right. You see, a heart that blames others not right. And as a leader that time, as a master that time, I said, please, I should be the one taking the blame. But I put it on others. And the Lord gave to me an atomic issue of my life. And you know what? This is a pinag a bon result to my turn, kay. And it's a pride, no? This is a pinag a result to my turn, kay. Leader, ka. Sorry. That time the pride is trying to blame me again. Oops, oops. It took me so much going to the door. Who is it again? 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 Do it anyway, and if I do it, because doing that is freeing myself from the blindness that the enemy is causing me. Now we gain sight. Balik tayo kaberti mayas. Ano man masap? Story ni kaberti mayas mo. Now, ira ko basa mo na kaya na. Ano mo ni na ito buwan? Pagkaduwag niya yung Bartimaeus nga na si Jesus padulong sa Jericho o naglingkod sa dito na siya'y hapin, na siya'y niya pro. Ang sige po ni Bartimaeus, singkit din siya. Jesus! Sabi tayo yung ang mercy on me. Sabi yung singkit. Now, what's one thing nga isa sa mga learn na ito dito? Bartimaeus recognized that he has Among the people dito, siya rin ang nagsigita nga naman because he alone recognized that he is the blind man. And he recognized that I have a need. But the people nga ba dito, kayo nakakita ko, makakita ko sila. So they felt that they don't get anything. But then, ako yung ba dito, manalang sa dito, kayo maging mas gusto ko sa kita ito po. But si Bartimaeus, out of his need to see, he recognized that he needs to see. He recognized his weakness. And so he shot Jesus on the table. Another thing is, he, know, he knew who to call. And from that moment, he was a little bit of 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 a Do you recognize that you have a need? And then question number two. How desperate you are to ask for it? You see, he was more desperate than others because kapano man siya ng buta po. Pero kung gilin to siya buta, asa ko siya singkit kina to? When he knew that he can see. But because he knew that he cannot see, he was so desperate to call upon the name of Jesus. He kept shouting, Son of David, have mercy on me and heal me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So he went to the blind man and said, Have courage, get up. Jesus is calling for you. And another lesson we learned. He threw off his beggar's cloak, jumped up, and made his way to Jesus. Again, do you have a need? Do you recognize it that you have a need? Spiritual need? Do you recognize that you have a need to see in the spirit? 
or to be delivered by any form of spiritual darkness. So you want me, Bartimaeus, he threw off his beggar's cloak. Sigurd, Sigurd. That was his comfort. You know? That was his comfort. Every day he got there with his cloak. That was his comfort. But because of his desperate need for Jesus to heal him, for him to see, he threw off his comfort. And he jumped, stepped out of his comfort zone. He did not stay where he is. You see, the Bible says that God cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. And you cannot expect the same result, a different result, doing the same things over and over again. You cannot ask, Lord, I want to see. And yet, what you do every day is just the same thing. It is what they do. He had to throw out his comfort. You want breakthrough? Throw off your comfort. So, the question that you have to ask he was a best friend. And then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? If Jesus could be here tonight and ask you, What do you want me to do for you? What would you ask? But this puzzled me because the man replied, Master, please let me see. Tell you again. Come here, Monsters and Monsi. But to me, it's body. Word blind. Go, search God. Di pa nga nagpasan na bayan. Pero hindi ka makita na di pa nga nagsan na bayan. Kaya amis kayo kung nga nang ingin sa let me see again. You see, this can be a picture of the church. Maybe there are some. And actually it happens to me. But I want to see again. For some of us, maybe this is our, this will be our prayer. Kaya yung pag-ilis mo yung sa buta, di ba nga na? Kaya nga lang tayo mo yung sa let me see. Again. And Jesus responded, your faith is your other version. Pagka, it gains the sight ni Bartimaeus Cavallo, you know what happened? People around him worshiped over Jesus Christ. Could it be? I believe now, when the church will be healed from spiritual blindness. People around us will worship the Lord. Could it be that people around us or your own family is not worshiping the Lord Jesus? Could it be it's because you are not just seeing? Hello? This is not true to all, but this is a possibility. And if you have a family member who is not yet known, this is something that maybe you need to ponder and evaluate yourself. Amen? Again, recognize with the Spirit. Throw off your comfort. So, man, I'm comfortable with what you stop saying. To see what God has to reveal in your life. Because it's not a comfort in your life, or the good in your life, for you to know your destiny or your purpose. Jesus hears the blind man at his side. When they arrived at Bethsaida, some people brought a blind man to Jesus, begging him to touch him and heal him. So, number one, Salamat ano sa, kung 
Sir Group ka na po salamat kasi ng Sir Group leader, no? Nagadala sa'yo po sa ginoon para makakita ka. God has provided people around us to help us. Now that authorizes us for us to see, for us to be known. That means also that we need to open our hearts to people for us to be kung kita na ako, kita na ako, kasi nagbuta na ako, kita ako ako, kasi nagbuta na ako. Ang tabi nito. Jesus led in a cis side guy outside the village. Kaya ako ako gusto ng person namin. Ano kita na ako mancha ni Lord outside the village? Because Bethsaida, according to Google, it's a movie about this. Bethsaida is a place of hunting. But when I learned about Matthew, in Matthew 11, the king of the Lord is here, Bethsaida, woe to you, Bethsaida, because of the miracles that I have shown you, I will see you here in the city of Bethsaida, and you will be protected. Because Bethsaida, grabe kayo miracle ni Lord Yap, mga miracles ni Lord Miro Dinis na ganito. So the Lord had to talk to take him out from that village. Yan, idala siya ni Lord dito at exclusive lang yun si Lord dito. You see, sa gara sa atong nga ko, ang katong kapartimiya sa pinay. Then, Healing from spiritual blindness comes from a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, pati mo yun, sa chanty po, tawag ka siya. Wala siya niya na ito. Makakita ka na ka. Sa chanty po, ipatawag niya. And then personally, he asks, what do you want me to do for you? Yes, he said, my son is coming back and begging to see people, but they don't like to his walking. I believe also this blind man did not born blind. I believe the Makita did not show before. I don't recognize the Tao of trees. Now I see the Tao of trees. I believe the Makita did not show before. And I want to stress more on this because just like Kenya sa kanang introduction nato, he addressed the Lord as people blind as they say. And tonight, I believe this is something that we need to evaluate to ourselves. Proverbs 13 and 18, where there is no vision, the people there is, but he that keeps the law, a peace. In I agree, where there is no revelation, people cast out mistake, but blessed is the one who needs wisdom, instruction. In empty version, when people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. One of the pinak is lovely when we talk about the pinak boys in the last edition. And it's dangerous because many times we don't recall the same. Not unless we ask the Lord. Lord, am I still in the faith? Am I still in the Am I still in the direction that you are leading me? Samson lost his vision because of sin. On the other hand, losing his vision makes his life miserable, running in circles. He can be in a church, a spiritual blind, and miserable at the same time, or slowly be ill. Kung tama niyong kaniya sa chat, why is while you are still in the light. Walk in the light while naapaka sa kahayag, lest darkness will come upon you. So, mientras, yung mga pananaw, kay dilip, maging ka totally blind, maging ka halap-halap lang, you better deal with it than has to work. Lord, let me see you again. For Lord, I want to be there. Yes. Let me pray. Let's 
Let's just pray for our own hearts. And even with ourselves. Lord of mercy. Lord, you don't want to be caught on guard, Lord. Lord, as early as you should be, God, Lord, reveal to us our true condition in the Spirit. We don't want our God to be a Mahogian in a place, oh God, where it's too late for us, oh God, to see. But right now, Lord, we ask for your grace. If our eyes have been closed because of the things around us, Lord, we want to see again. I don't know about you, but I have an impression that there, there are some of you who are losing your vision. You are losing the vision for your destiny. May you respond. Do what God is saying to you. Lord, you said in your word, blind cannot be the blinds. Lord, you have built this church, O oh God, to impact communities, to impact city, our city, and to impact our nation. But before, O oh God, we can do that, Lord, I pray, Father, that in this house, in our lives, Lord, we would deal with our spiritual blindness, O oh God. Lord, I pray, God, that we would not go out, that we would not go home tonight, Lord, without asking you, Lord, to reveal our true condition in this year, individually. Do what you need to do, Lord. Do what you need to do Lord, to expose our hearts. We ask for the grace, Lord God, to humble ourselves before you. Help us, Lord, to recognize our blindness. Help us, Lord, to recognize our weakness. Help us, Lord God, to recognize, O oh God, our inabilities, Lord God. That hinders us, O oh Lord God to do what you have told us to do. Give us the grace, Lord, to throw off, O oh God, our comforts for the sake, O oh God, of receiving, O oh God, what you have purpose to reveal to us. Thank you, Lord, and I declare, Father, that in this house, Lord God, In this house, Lord, may me, Father, for all of us, O oh God, the people, Father, can be seen with the eyes of our spirit. I pray, Lord, that even tonight, visit us. Visit us in our sleeping, Lord. And show vision to us, O oh God. Thank you, Father. In the Lord, for tonight, we thank you for your word. Bless your word. Bless every person in this place, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' name.